Happy Friday, everyone. I am Reverend Hester coming to you from Memphis, Tennessee at Church of the Holy Communion. And this Friday reflection is especially for all you parents out there. As distance learning wraps up this and next week, a lot of us are looking at rapidly shifting summer plans from travel to backyard fun. So while inflatable swimming pools and jump ropes and bikes are flying off the shelves, it leaves us wondering what to do on those rainy days or what to do when we have a conference call and I need to keep the kids busy for a while. So before I went to seminary, I taught integrated fine arts at St. George's Independent School. And that was a fancy way of saying that I taught music, art, and drama. And one of the great gifts that drama gives us is that we're able to jump into characters that we know and love as they go through difficult circumstances and sometimes explore our own feelings in ways that don't feel quite so um, vulnerable or uh, that open up our imagination and allow us to maybe articulate things that are easier to articulate for characters than they are for our own selves. So think about uh, during this time of pandemic, uh, what we might be able to explore with our children as they are Daniel in the lion's den, or as they are Moses leading their people out of a difficult situation and parting the Red Sea uh, with God on their side, or Noah navigating the great flood, um, David and Goliath. I mean, how many of us feel like we might be uh, just one small person facing uh, such a large and scary thing right now, um, as maybe Jesus calming the storm or the good shepherd looking for that one lost sheep. Maybe as the disciples, as they're behind closed doors and together in an upper room, and then all of a sudden the Holy, Holy Spirit comes to visit them. Or maybe the loaves and the fishes, and, you know, this could be kind of funny. Maybe in this uh, time of pandemic, maybe it's toilet paper and hand sanitizer for plenty abundance for all. Uh, the list goes on and on, but pick a favorite story from the Bible. If you have a children's Bible at home or you can uh, download one uh, on the web or listen to one of Mary Henry Thompson's uh, great stories during the week, and let your children go around and gather up just a couple of props each. So I would say find a bag. Maybe you can just grab a grocery bag or a paper bag, maybe a cleaned out backpack from the school year and have them each grab a couple of props. You want about five to eight props total. Too many gets to be overwhelming. And uh, they can be completely random. Anything that you have around the house, they don't even have to be related to the story. In fact, that's what makes it even more fun. So I just went around and grabbed a couple of random things. A Frisbee that stays by our front door. Maybe this could be a plate to hold something on. It could be a halo. It could be the sun shining after Noah's flood. Uh, we've got a hat from Mardi Gras. Maybe that could be Joseph's Technicolor hat. Maybe it could be the hat of Pharaoh. You never know. Uh, we've got a blanket. This is a picnic blanket that we keep in the car. Maybe this is uh, Mary Shawl, as she says yes to a hard thing uh, that the angel Gabriel asks her to do. Maybe it's the waters that are being calmed in the storm or the sea that's parting. We've got, let's see what we've got here. Got some binoculars that we keep on our front porch. Maybe these are the ones that they use to gaze into the promised land. Maybe this is a shepherd looking for that lost sheep. You never know. Uh, we've got a flashlight here. This little light of mine. It could be the light of Christ coming down or it can help da Daniel in that dark lion's den. And we have an indoor snowball. This is just a little plush ball that we have. Maybe this is a rock that David uh, hurls at Goliath and no one gets hurt that way. Or maybe it's the little sheep that is found. 
you will be amazed what your children come up with. This is a great thing to do with all ages. You can do it as a family. You can do, uh, you know, have your children go off into another room and rehearse it and then perform it for you. Even better, you can video it and share it with all of us. I'm really curious to see what y'all come up with. Have a great time. I call this skit in a bag. And so in the weeks ahead, throw this idea in your back pocket and pull it out on a day that you need some good indoor fun. Take care, everybody.